we're getting ready to start our live video, but I'm going to let you enjoy the backdrop. I brought you some white orchids and some white geese, and the color for today is white. So we'll be getting started in a few minutes. All right, we're getting ready. Good morning, everyone. My name is Joanne Brown. I've been with you for the wonderful week we've had here of Spring Forest Every Day with the theme of spring break and using words to bring us to a higher vibration. So I'm very grateful to have had this opportunity and I'm grateful for everyone who's come to practice with me. I am a certified trainer and certified group practice leader. And I just have really enjoyed being with you this week. I've got one more day to go and today, so that's all I'm going to say, which is hard for me because I like to talk. So let's get started with the way I always start my practice groups. We make three bows. So you just place your hands in front of your heart center to keep the energy from scattering. And we bow to acknowledge the tradition of Qigong and the lineage of spring forest Qigong. And then we bow to recognize and acknowledge the lights that we have in the upper middle and the lower Dantians. So the light of our spirit, the light of our heart, the light of our vitality. When we practice, we want to practice as a whole unit. And then the third bow, we bow to thank and acknowledge one another for practicing together. We thank the Spring Forest organization for giving us this platform. So I was just talking to Jackie and she and I were deciding that this takes a village. We need each other. And may our practice be a benefit to all living beings and to the earth herself. Now we stand in what's called the beginning of the universe posture. So you plant your feet on the ground. Don't lock your knees or your hips. You're standing firm and solid, but you're not rigid like a toy soldier. You bring your arms a little bit away from your body. Relax the shoulders. Turn the palms facing backwards, spread the fingers apart and a little curve to the fingers. Pull your chin in and visualize that your head is suspended from the ceiling by a string. Now you connect your tongue to the roof of your mouth. You place the tip of the tongue right behind the two upper front teeth and simply smile. Let your beautiful smile radiate. Start your internal love engine. Open you up to the universe. Tell your brain to release feel-good hormones and start opening up the energy channels in your chi. All of that with one simple smile. The most important part, open the heart. Open the heart. This is a practice of the heart. And keeping the tongue connected to the roof of the mouth, you start to bounce from the knees, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And your body will tell you what rate and what rhythm you need to bounce at today. So honor the body. Listen to your body. Whatever you're hanging on to emotion-wise or energy-wise that you don't need. Nervousness, anxiety, maybe a little nagging ache or pain. Let it go as you bounce. So bouncing is a tool to open up the meridians in the body, but it's also a way to let excess energy go. It's a very good way to start waking up the energy in the body. Bounce for a little bit more. That's gonna just talk to those energy channels in our lower legs and in our torso. So stomach, 
spleen, the gallbladder, the bladder, liver, the kidney. Starting to say, good morning, wake up. And then we raise our arms above our head. We let the wrist pick up the vibration from the bowel. So we're not actively waving the wrist. But they're moving anyway. And we're opening up energy channels for the heart, the pericardium, triple heaters, the small intestine, the large intestine, and the lungs. Many, many things accomplished with these movements. Keep that breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep that smile. Keep letting your brain release those feel good hormones. And then we're going to float our arms down to sole shoulder level, hold the elbows in, and start to turn side to side. So this movement is good for the spine and also for energy in your body. Get a nice benefit by just slowly. Rotate. Now, when I get to waist level, I stop the bouncing and I start breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And then I just give myself a little wider turn. Just a soft, gentle turn. And then go back to your beginning of the universe posture. And before we do any tapping, Close your eyes, scan your body from head to toe, and see how you're feeling now, and see what needs help in your body, if anything. Just note it, you don't have to try and fix it now. And we're gonna talk to some more energy channels. So let's talk to the stomach channel. Nine taps on the cheekbone. Nine taps in between the eyebrows to talk to the bladder channel. Cup the top of the head very gently. That's all the yang energy center. So nine taps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then cup the back of your head. Start waking up your brain. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> And then to open up the energy channels between the lower body and the head, you use your thumb and finger, find C7, which is the big cervical vertebrae at the base of your neck, and you rotate around C7 clockwise. Guess what? Nine times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then clap. Five, six, nine. Cut the inside of the left elbow. inside of the right elbow. Raise the left arm, cut right under the armpit. And do the right arm, seven, eight, and nine. And then with very loose fists, you lean over and you tap your tailbone. And I always do two sets of nine. So nine taps, nine. And then I always turn this way and do nine more. And then I roll my fingers around my thumbs and tap my hips. You just feel that little indented area. Tap right there nine times. And then cup your knees. We're going to do the front. Seven, eight, nine. Back. Side left. Nine and side right nine. All right, now roll up on the ball of your foot if you're not pregnant. If you're pregnant, don't do this, but all you're going to do is roll up on the ball of your foot or simply shift the weight to the ball of your foot and then rock back nine times. Three, four, five. 
that's to wake up the bubbling spring point, which is for kidney. Seven, eight, and nine. Okay, now just do a little experiment. Close your eyes, go back to your beginning of the universe posture and scan again and see if you feel any tingling or any sensation in the body that you did not feel before you did the tapping. Okay, so now I feel tingling in my arms and in my fingers that I did not feel before I did the tapping. And above my knees, I feel a little tingling area. So that starts to tell you that you're waking up the energy in your body. You feel those little sensations. And if you feel nothing, don't worry about it. It's just, just the way your body is today. So now we have to get ready to go into the emptiness. So we're standing in the beginning of the universe posture. We're in that nice state of relaxation that they call like song, like a pine tree. And we have to do my favorite part. We empty our mind of all the chatter, clear the clutter. And I, I got hooked on this at the beginning of the week and I can't stop it now. My magic chopstick. So I'm gonna use my magic chopstick. You can use whatever visualization you want. Just clear your mind of minor worries, minor distractions, nagging appointments, whatever you've got, just clear it. Put your little monkey mind chatter in a little jar or safe place. And then if you decide you want it, when you get done with the practice, go back and get it. I never go back and get mine, but anyway. So now we're, in, we're relaxed like a pine tree. Our minds are clear. You're in that state of in between being, not being aware, but not focused on any one particular thing. So now we can say the past phrase. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. So now we are in a whole different dimension. We are in a place where we can access information and things that we need, but we may need some help. So the next thing we do is we call upon a master's energy. Now, a master could be a teacher, could be Master Lin, it could be a God that you believe in. It could be a relative or a friend. It's just an energetic presence that you feel <clears throat> that would help you with your practice today. So you call upon that energy and you ask that source of energy to come and practice with you today. And just take a minute and see the see the presence come and merge energy fields with yours. And tell the universe what you need for your practice today. What do you want to accomplish today? And then let it go. And then we just focus on the light in our lower dantian, which is an area behind our navel. See that light there is a soft glowing light, maybe like a candle flame or a soft light bulb. It's not a glowing neon sign, flashing orange and green, soft glowing light. That's the light of your vitality. And take three breaths in. And this time when we breathe in, we're gonna pull the abdominal muscles toward our spine. So we're gonna just pull in with the abdominal muscles as we inhale. And then as we exhale, we relax. Four times, inhale and exhale. And then inhale and exhale. So you're bringing the yin energy up and the yang energy down. And now you go back to your beginning of the universe posture. Just make sure the shoulders and necks are, our neck muscles are relaxed. Take a deep breath. Then we're going to make our prayer hand gesture in front of our heart center. 
and we are going to turn our fingers down. So now we have a diamond shape in front of our lower dantian. Step out with the right foot so you're a little wider than shoulder width of this movement is called connecting with your body's energy. And it works with the metal element. The color is white and the season is fall. So what we're going to do is inhale and shift 70% of our weight to our left leg as we bend the knee a little bit. And then we hold that posture. So count to three. And then we exhale and we shift 70% of the weight to the right leg and we hold that posture to a count. So we're not doing this. It'd be fun to do that, but we're not doing that. We're doing very slow, deliberate movement. So inhale, shift the weight to the left. Hold. Exhale, shift the weight. You bring into your consciousness the emotion of feeling content. You want to bring in the feeling of being content and the color vibration of white. And you just move slowly and gently. I oftentimes use the visualization that I am a very lazy ocean wave. Sometimes I use the visualization that I'm an awn of grass simply blowing in the wind. Or you could use the visualization like my shirt has the dandelion blowing in the wind. But it's a very slow movement. You want to feel the energy. So we're working with the lung, the large intestine, the skin. We're working with the nose and the throat. And all of those are organs, really, the skin, the large intestine, and the lungs, which can help to detoxify the body. A couple other things with this movement. You're helping the lower organs. So we're working with the lower organs and also the yin energy center, which is at the very bottom of your chest. So you're doing a lot with this. Now, we're bringing in contentment to every pore of our skin. We're allowing that feeling, that blissful feeling of being content in the moment to go to every cell, every tissue, every organ, and every organ system. And when contentment comes in, that allows us to release sadness and grief. And it may not be possible to release all of the sadness but you let go of as much of it as you can. Let it go back to the universe and let the universe make something beautiful of that. So tall, white, metal, and I will be quiet.
let's do five more. And we've got to pretend now that we're suspended in jello. Got to be really slow. Just really feel the movement. Go slower than you think is possible. And as you finish that last movement, bring your hands back to the heart center, step back in so your shoulder width apart. You know, we have to do our 10 gratitudes. I always like to do the gratitude. So you just hold your palms together, put a little pressure on the tips of your fingers. And let's just start by saying one movement, we're gonna just inhale and bend forward from the waist, but not a big bend, maybe maybe 30 degrees, and we're going to say, I am content in this moment and time. And we inhale down and then we exhale up. I am content right now, just as I am. And we exhale up. I am content with what I have. I am content that I am who I am. I am grateful for everything I have been given. I am grateful for my home. I'm grateful for my country. Now you've got two more and I'll be quiet. You say whatever you want. And then when you finish the gratitude and the and the, the contentment movements, you just go back to beginning of the universe posture. Remember that light that we looked at at the very beginning, the light of your vitality. You see that light shaping itself into a ball and visualize that that ball is starting to spin. And as it spins, it gets faster and brighter and smaller, faster and brighter and smaller, faster, brighter, smaller. And when you get that energy down to the size of a vitamin tablet, you tuck it behind the lower dantian. That's your vitality elixir. That's your dom. You need energy, fall on it. And then we've got to do some soothing exercises. So we'll rub our hands together. And then we make that heart shape on our face. Let's do six of those. Four, five, six. Run your fingers through your scalp. Four, five, six. Tap the head front to back. Massage the ears, the whole ear, top to bottom. Three, four, five, six. Tug the earlobe. Cup the back of the head nine times. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll do the inside of the left arm and the outside and the inside, the outside, outside and the outside. And then we go to the right arm, inside, outside, 
inside. Side, side. Okay, oh, left side, armpit to waist, left. One, two, three, four, five, six, right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Collarbone to waist, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then lean over and tap your kidneys. Rub the kidneys. Hold them with the palm of the hands and then tap the tailbone nine times. And then we'll finish with the knees. Front, back, side left, and side right. Okay, I got my favorite quote that I've got to give you. First, I'm gonna read one that says, do not be dismayed by the brokenness in the world. All things break and all things can be mended, not with time as they say, but with intention. So go, love intentionally, extravagantly, unconditionally. The broken world waits in darkness for the light that is in you. Now that's a quote that I think embodies what Spring Forest is all about. We need to be the light. The love radiators need to be the light. So if you start thinking about how bad the news is or whatever, just think, okay, we're the antidote. We can do something about it. And that quote came from a post on messages of light and the author is credited as L.R. Nost, K-N-O-S-T. Now, the other one, this is my favorite, very favorite quote. I say this to myself every day. This comes from Julian of Norwich, who was a mystic who lived in the Dark Ages. She lived in Norwich, England. She was born in 1343 and died in 1416. And she had an illness where she became paralyzed in the lower half of her body. And she was cured, she believed, by divine intervention. And she wrote a book that was called Revelations of Divine Intervention. But this is her quote. All shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. For there is a force of love force of love moving through the universe that holds us fast and will never let us go. Thank you for being with me. I hope you enjoyed today and I hope to see you tomorrow and have a great day. Be content. Thank you.